Have you ever had that customer that you greeted, you sat down, y'all were talking, they were sharing information with you, you went through the presentation, you did the demo drive, you got them back, you presented them with what they were looking for, and they told you that they want to think about it? That happens all day, every day at dealerships all around the country. But here's the kicker, though. There are more salespeople that are stumped by it than you may believe. Hey, it may have even tripped you up before. I know it did for me when I first got started. But in this video, next time you hear that, you'll be able to handle it effectively and be able to get through it and move your guests to the next step. Okay, I'm Brian Maxwell, and I'm going to give you the tools and the insight on how to deal with it when a customer says they want to think about it. First off, when they say I want to think about it, that is nothing more than a stall tactic. They know that most salespeople are unequipped, ill-prepared to be able to deal with it. And when they say it, a lot of times what happens, the salesperson to get downright confrontational. Why you want to think about this? How long you got to think about it? What do you got to think about it? Come on, why don't you do this? Don't worry about that. And we all have what's called an internal buying system. You have one, I have one, and their customers have one. And that is a process that we go through before we make a buying decision. Some people pray, some people meditate, some people do speak to a spouse. Whatever it is for that person, we're not going to change their internal buying system in 20, 30, 40 minutes or an hour or two hours or whatever. So we have to respect it while at the same time doing what we can to find out what it is specifically that may be holding this person back or what it is that they want to think about that we can maybe educate them on or get them the relevant information to help them move closer to making that smart safe buying decision and doing business with you right there on the spot. So the next time a customer tells you they want to think about it, what you want to use is what I call the triple F's, okay? And that's what you call identifying whether it's the right fit, whether it's the feet, has the right features, or whether it's the finance. And here's what that seems like. The first thing when a person tells you they want to think about it, first thing you want to do is acknowledge it. And then after you acknowledge it, the next thing you want to do is you want to educate them. Let them know that they're not alone. There's been other people that have felt that way. But here's the resolution that came for them, just like it will for you, Mr. Customer. And then after that, you want to move on. So I'm going to go through it for you right now. So you present the customer with the option. They say, you know what? I like everything, but I just want to go home and I want to think about it. You know what, John? I totally get it. As a matter of fact, um, there's been a few times that I've had other people that felt exactly like you. But what they told me is that it really boiled down to one of three things. It was either not the right fit, didn't have the right features, or was the finances. So let's see exactly what it is for, for you. So at least we know uh, where we are. So John, let me ask you, as far as this vehicle, do you feel this vehicle is the right fit for you and for your family? Okay, you do? Awesome. Now let me ask you, as far as the features, the Bluetooth, will you be able to listen to your favorite music and your tunes um, commercial free if you have any of those streaming services or whatever it is you like to listen to through your stereo? You also have access to the hands-free uh, as far as being on the phone so you can be a lot safer with yourself and with your family in the car. And features like that adaptive cruise control where it slows the vehicle down if someone slows down in front of you. But the cool thing is you don't have to push the accelerator. It'll accelerate itself back up to the seat that you had, to the speed you had set and keep you moving. Do you feel that features like this will benefit you and your family? Okay, you do. Now, as far as the finances, John, how do you feel about the monthly budget for this vehicle? Okay. Now, I want to just break down real quick what those what those uh, questions were to ask. As far as what they want to think about it, you know, listen, you know, typically it boils down to one of three things. It's either not the right fit, doesn't have the right features, or it's the finances. So as far as the fit, do you feel that this vehicle is the right fit for you and for your family? Okay. Now, the reason why I ask do you feel is because when you ask somebody what do they think about something, remember this always, you have no idea what the education level is of that guest in your store. They could be a first, uh, sixth grade education, eighth grade education, 12th grade, or some college, which is why you ever notice when you say, tell me what you think about this or what do you think about that? Sometimes somebody can give you the craziest response and you can't even jive with it. Why? Because they're telling you what they think and you have no idea how distorted the picture could be in their mind. But when it comes to feeling and emotions, that is something that is a lot more common amongst us as humans. We all share the same emotions, okay? So when you ask someone how they feel, Typically, it's a lot easier for someone to express how they feel than to really articulate what's going on and what they're thinking in that, in that crazy mind of ours, okay? And plus, people buy 90% based off emotion and back it up with 10% logic. And so when I'm asking someone how they feel, the response that they'll give me will be more from that emotional side 
more so from that buying motive side. We make our decisions based off emotion and back it up with logic. So when I'm asking how you feel about something, you're going to give me an emotional, uh, an emotionally based response based on how you feel, which may be far more honest than telling me how you think. So do you feel this vehicle uh, was the right fit for you and your family? Okay. Hey, do you feel the features like that Bluetooth where you can listen to your favorite music? You notice I went through examples of the, the few features I talked about, the hands-free where you can keep your hands on the wheel, still have a good conversation, or the adaptive cruise control. Where it's those, you want to explain those few features. You don't have to go into all of them, but if you'd like to, do so. And ask them, do you feel that these feature, features will benefit you and your family? Okay. So the first one was right fit. The second one was benefit. And the third one, when it comes to the finances, how do you feel about the monthly budget for this vehicle? Okay, and now we want to get them to open up about how they really feel. Because it may be that $10, it may be $5, it may be $20. You don't know until we find out, until we ask. Closed mouths don't be fed, don't get fed. And you'd be amazed at how many times salespeople will walk away from dealing with a customer that leaves to say they want to think about it. And they are unable to tell anybody exactly what it was that they needed to think about. Because if it was right there for them and it was right in the parameters they were looking for, people would make a way to get what it is that they want. There was something about it that was holding them back. And folks, I assure you, it's not just the price. You and I both have spent more money for things than we needed to. Why? Because we saw more value in it than what the price was asked for. So we felt good with doing it and we're going to do it again. It's all about identifying the amplitude of the need, okay? So the next time somebody tells you that they want to think about it, identify it. Use the three Fs. Is it the right fit? Does it have the right features? Or is it the finances? And make sure you let them know. Acknowledge, hey, listen, I totally get it. As a matter of fact, I've had a few others that have felt exactly like you, okay? But what they told me it boiled down to is one of three things. It's either not the right fit, doesn't have the right features, or it's the finance. Let's see which one it is for you. And then you want to go through. Do you feel that this vehicle is the right fit for you and your family? Do you feel that these features, like such and such, will provide benefit for you and your family? And the last one, the finances, tell me, how do you feel about the monthly budget for this vehicle? And watch what happens or watch the person opens up to you, okay? These word tracks that I'm sharing to you with you, they're so important that you want to learn how to use them because how is it that a movie can emotionally uh, stimulate us because the actors took the words, internalized them, memorized them, and when they projected them, they personalized them. That's what this is. Anybody that's involved in a sales process and isn't using word tracks, isn't using a talk, I, I assure you, is having inconsistent results every month, and it doesn't have to be. As a matter of fact, you may be familiar with this, but as of late, there's been a program that I've made available online. It's the Ultimate Online Automotive Sales Training Program. And make sure you stay listening to what I'm saying, because if you click off too soon, you may miss out on exactly what's going on. And um, the program has been available for $1,000 on the internet, right? And as of recent, a lot of people have been wanting to get access to it, but I get it, especially if somebody's working at a dealership, um, you know, they're trying to get their money up. They're saying, look, I want help. And if I had the resources to get it, I definitely would. I watch all your YouTube videos. I know the stuff works. Let me tell you exactly what's involved in it and what I'm willing to do for you between right now today and August the 2nd at midnight, which means when it turns August the 2nd at midnight, this ends, okay? For the next 48 hours, what you have available, as I'm going to make available to you, the Dominated the Dealership Sales Training Program, which has over six hours of audio and video, which take you through the road to the sale, but not just the sale, the psychology behind it, the word tracks that go with it. And when a customer says this, this is exactly what you say. You know exactly what to do all the way through the process, okay? There's videos that are outlined and you can listen to, listen to it in your car on your way to the dealership or at home, and you get access to that. You also get the sales training manual which you can download directly to your phone, to your computer, to your tablet. Have it right there at your desk. If you get stuck, if you're looking for additional questions, if you want to know how to do the next step as far as in the presentation, doing a powerful demonstration drop, everything you need is also in that manual. So if you have the audios and the videos for the sales training program, six hours. You have the manual. You also have the how to drive Facebook leads, which you can implement immediately to start driving targeted people to your Facebook page. You also get the online traffic search, which I use Snapchat, Instagram. Okay, that's the two hours of audios and videos. You also get over 40 word tracks, how to deal with shop around objection, how to deal with talk to the spouse. Think about it. One more for the trade. The price is too high. You have over 40 ways right at your fingertips to load your lips, 
to be able to handle those objections before they come up and start closing more deals and making more money. And also, you become invited. You have access to the private weekly Monday evening sales training coaching calls with myself and other big game changers around the country. All of this is available. This program is worth a thousand dollars and it's available for the next 48 hours for just $65. So click that link in the description. At least go over and check it out. Read that long list of things that's available that you get. Click the link in the description. Between now and July the 2nd, you will have access to it. And anybody that knows me knows, when it hits midnight, this video will be yanked off live. That page will be closed down, but it is my way of giving back. So if money had been an issue for you, and you know $1,000 was way out of whack, $65, I'm sure, is much easier. And it's just my way of seeing your skin in the game. If I'm going to be taking nights out every Monday to share with you everything that I know, that insight, to give you the tools to help you build the foundation to be more successful, all I ask is your commitment. And this shows it. That one-time investment that you get instant access to that information is yours for life. And it'll help you for the rest of your selling career. And also included in that is the 100 success tip over 10 videos. This is something you can share with your children. That's something you can share with your spouse. That's something about thinking better, living bigger, and just being more. But it's all available to you. So scratch the $997, you'll get it for $65. So click that link in the description. Go on over, check it out. Be a part of the uh, private community that we got going on. Other than that, remember the triple Fs, fit, features, finance. And if you think this is something, click that link in the description because there's a lot of more where that came from. Like Clubber Lane says in Rocky 3, I got a lot of more where that came from. So click the link in the description, go on over, check it out. Again, I'm Brian Maxwell. I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you very, very much. Please click that link, go over, join the movement. And, uh, and also, I want to let you know, we have a serious, serious, serious announcement coming up within the next few days. So make sure that if you aren't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. If you are subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell. So every time we have a, a new video that populates, you get notified. And remember, click that link in the description. Go on over, get started. Let's work together. And in that private community, you will be a part of the huge launch that's going to be coming out within the next few days. So click that link. I'm Brian Maxwell, and I'll see you at the dealership, y'all. Take it easy.